feminism, by definition, is the belief that men and women should have equal rights and opportunities. Tell the truth and get some power. Are we mainstreaming delusion? Uh, it's not delusion. Why, why not would delusion. you call it delusion? Because Bruce Caitlyn Jenner, I'll call him Caitlyn Jenner. No, because it's that's her. The, You're not being polite to the pronoun. Because disrespect. It, okay, forget about the disrespect. Facts don't care about your feelings. It turns out that every chromosome, every cell in Caitlyn Jenner's body is male with the exception of some of his sperm cells. Tell the truth and get some power. Welcome to the Church of Freedom. It is the theory of the political, economic, and social equality of the sexes. Tell the truth and get some power. Wait, sorry, 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 sorry. Wait, I need it to... turns out that he still has all of his male appendages. <laughs> How he feels on the inside is irrelevant but... to the question of his biological status. I'm not, I, don't, I don't, don't agree with that. Smoking on death, bitch, I'm catching cancer. Smoking on death, bitch, I'm catching cancer. But I'm a tourist. Don't ask me if I like to take long walks on the beach, bitch. You know that's just not true. That's a stereotype. Don't ask me if I'm gay because I'm wearing a pink shirt, ho. I'm just trying to celebrate the fucking LGBTQ plus community. Yeah. It's not rude to say that someone who is biologically a male sir. is a male. You just someone who is biologically sir. male is a male. Say it again. Say it again. Slow it down, motherfucker. I said I think that the transgender person is probably the most powerful citizen that's ever existed in the history of the world. Why? Because they're allowed to be completely absurd. <laughs> Because <laughs> they're allowed to be completely absurd. I can say, I can think, I can do anything. Absurdity is a place of creation and imagination. So you don't know what you're talking about. You're not educated on genetics. Would you like to discuss the genetics? Or well, no? well, no, what no. What are your genetics? I, I, so I'd stay away from the genetics and back to the brain scans. You cut that out now or you'll go home in an ambulance. It's a wonderful place to be yet when you can start from a place of being absurd oh my god everything is possible and so when i think about absurdity i'm like man i want to be as absurd as possible how absurd do i want to be a standing ovation tonight for an athlete who became an american hero at the olympics and may now be changing america itself when it comes to political absurdity i think that we should abolish child support immediately <laughs> Feminism, by definition, is the belief that men and women should have equal rights and opportunities. Um, when whatever a feminist says that they would like, I would like the exact same thing that a feminist says they would like. Because if a feminist wants e equality, then I am a feminist. Ordinary personal arc from Olympic great to corporate pitchman to reality show dad. Jenner went in for a procedure to reduce his Adam's apple. And there was a picture of my dad crying in his car because my dad does not cry. It's like a very important thing to fight on behalf of transgender people. It's like a very important thing to like, uh, man, LGB, man, hands up to the big girls. Shout out to the big girls. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Imagination. Come on, Barbie. Let's go party. Oh, uh oh. I came from an era of fuck shit. Them people, they perpetuated nonsense. And now that nonsense has run rampant in America and it's taking a hold of everybody, man. And so since everyone has the ability to be absurd, I just want to encourage every American citizen to embrace whatever absurdity it is that you want. You hear me? <laughs> you can say anything. You can be anything. You can literally be or do anything. The greatest American alive. Hey, women, you can pay for dates. <laughs> Hey, we can we can literally abolish child support because I don't even acknowledge the fact that I had a child. I'm a transparent. <laughs> I'm a transparent. <laughs> yes, I'm a transparent person. You hear me? I'm gonna tell the truth. I'm gonna tell the pure 100 percent pure unadulterated truth. If you don't like it, go fight it, nigga. That's how that's what freedom is. If you don't like it, fight it. <laughs> if you don't like it, fight for it. Don't scream and shit. Don't be like, oh my god, don't do that. If you don't like it, jab for it, nigga, hell. That's how you get freedom and power in America. You fight for it. I don't sit there and just start begging, please, somebody, please give me some. I don't want nobody to give me nothing. I get it myself. Uh, James Brown on your ass. Nigga, what are we doing, man? We need to have more better, more honest conversations. The most powerful citizen in America is the transgender person because they have the ability to use their imagination and to be as creative as they want to be. They can just be as creative as they want to be. Could you imagine if today? Day you decided to harness your creativity to look inside your brain and say that I can be and do anything you ain't got no courage to fight for what you believe in and that's the problem with America today the people in America they refuse to be heroes and the only thing that makes you a hero is to stand up for what you believe if you like to go to church stand up and say I like to go to church if you like vagina stand up and say I like vagina I love me some Gina Gina is amazing tell the truth and get some power if you like mammary glands 
Say, I love me some Emory Glens. And for all of the ladies out there, if you like eggplant, man, say, I love me some eggplant. The greatest American alive. It's important for us to embrace our reality. And then once we embrace our reality, we can create whatever we want. We can create whatever we want. Imagination, man, the most powerful people in the world, they allowed their ideas to be as absurd as possible. And when I say absurd, no one could possibly fathom these thoughts that I'm having. And I made them come to fruition. That's a bad motherfucker. That's a powerful person. That's a powerful person. When a nigga says, I want to build a rocket ship and go to outer space and then land that bitch back down on Earth. Like. Whoever thunk it? Who would have thought it? And so I'm just saying if the average working class American person, you the greatest American alive, if you were to decide, like negotiate a house and a car as part of your contract when you go to a job as a fringe benefit, you see, because companies negotiate all the time. So if the workers of their company decide to say, hey, Jeff Bezos, I want you to negotiate with the largest home builder in America and make sure that all your employees have homes. And I want you to go and make a deal with Elon Musk and make sure that all of your employees drive Teslas. Let's negotiate on behalf of the American person to have actual tangible material goods. Let's actually negotiate on behalf of the American person so that we can have absurd realities too. Could you imagine a reality where every American person has a house and a car? Oh my God, is that unbelievable? I've seen in the last 10 years that a, that a person can do anything Thing, become anything they want just all of a sudden say i'm something else i want every american citizen to go from being a renter to an owner i want every american citizen to go from being a bus rider or a walker to a driver let's make absurd realities real for every american citizen it's time to fight back against dumbass ideas and let's have some more better ideas and when you see that dumb ideas can become the biggest ideas in culture then that means that you can have a great idea and your great idea can take over culture too homes for every Everyone. Tesla's for everyone. As we build America, let's make sure that the Americans are the most powerful citizens in the history of the world and not just on lip service, but in actual tangible material goods. Oh my goodness, it's going to be the most exciting time in the history of the world. Tell the truth and get some power. You create reality. Everything is negotiable. The greatest American alive. You are the greatest American alive. Yes, you are the greatest American alive. You and you and you and you and you gotta love me and you gonna love me. <laughs> you sons of bitches. <laughs> the greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.